Advanced Visualization Techniques in VR for Data Fusion by Manuel Camillo, Will Oliver, James Etheridge, and Morgan Harris. Hi, my name is Manuel Camillo. I am a electrical engineering senior. I'm Will Oliver. I'm a senior senior here at Rowland. Hi, my name is James Etheridge. I'm a junior electrical and computer engineering student. Hi, my name is Morgan Harris. I'm a junior civil and environmental engineering major. The goals for this semester were to generate concept models for visualization of streaming or pre-recorded data, implementation of object-oriented programming in Vizard to assemble future models, and continuation of work on the integrated rendering cluster. The software packages used this semester were Vizard, Maya, and MATLAB. Vizard is the VR software that generates the virtual environment. Maya was used to generate models, environments, and test data for Vizard. MATLAB was also used to generate test data for Vizard. I worked on the rendering farm chair integrated awareness station. As you can see here, this is, this is our final product. We have our, our primary control module. This is where everything gets uh, distributed out to the different computers up here. And then the user who uses it has this neat chair that they can sit in, which uh, creates a more immersive environment so that they can see what their final product is that they render out. Currently, we're using the chair to render high quality NASA images of NASA test stands using Maya. And we're rendering the process out over 10 computers across the backbone of the machine. What you see here is intended to be a user friendly interface for creating predefined camera paths in the virtual world. This allows the user to create virtual tours through an environment which can be reused in the future. Control points for the animation path are placed in the environment by pressing the equals key. A GUI allows the user to play, pause, and change playback aspects of the animation path during use. This model is a proof of concept program that shows that the Wizard software can graphically interpret external data. This was achieved by creating an array of cone objects that interpret an array of vector data and vary in size, color, and direction based on the vector being read. Here we see an array of 27 cones reading an array of sinusoidally varying data. Implications of this for the future include the ability to read and interpret streaming sensor data in near real time. This is an example of a time varying scalar field represented in VR. In this scalar field, the magnitude varies in space and time. This could be used for visualization, visualizing such things as electric potential, gravitational potential, temperature, pressure, or humidity. The concept demonstrated here allows the viewer to manipulate the way he or she sees the data. By making portions of a layer transparent, you can view multiple layers of data simultaneously. In the future, versions of this concept will allow the user to select the affected layers on the fly and manipulate the transparent section with a virtual wand or a computer mouse. This effect is created by applying an alpha map to the existing textures. An alpha map is a black and white image whose values are used to determine the opacity of a texture. Usually black is viewed as transparent and white as solid with the levels of gray as translucent. The map is applied to the texture depending upon the angle of the view viewport to allow the user to change the area and angle of the transparent section. One of the goals this semester was to make our VR design scripts more object oriented. This increases modularity and reusability, as well as making visualization techniques less abstract and easier to understand and program. For this, we designed a particular class that has certain methods associated with it. Methods are used to access the data members of the class. In the VR world, there will be various objects, which is a particular instance of the class. This lets us have as many instances of a particular class with minimal coding after the class is designed. The implementation of object-oriented code and the ability to view layered data have brought the VR team much closer to realizing its long-term goals in the field of data fusion for virtual reality. 
The next step towards achieving these goals is to implement the current concepts using object-oriented code to generate a library of custom functions dedicated to data visualization.